And it's Jay Gravity, not only leading his team in passion, but in kills as well as N305 joins him up. Camp and Heliosic with the dueling 10. So we're seeing that grouping looking really strong for Darkest Hour. That tells me they're shooting the same thing, playing together. And they absolutely earned that Game 5 victory as a result. And we'll move on to face complexity. So we lost to the Durs, but we just won that last round. What was the key to the success that round? I think the key to the success was that round was slowing down, regrouping, getting back together, going back to the basics and sticking to our game plan. Um, a couple times in that in that Durf game, we got a little bit frustrated and got a little bit fluttery about what was going on. But uh, like I said, when you're playing with your brother and you got your, your best friends right next to you, it's easy to understand that we're going to all make mistakes. It's easy when we go down, but it's all about the bounce back. Darkest hour. Let's go, DH. I'm Tiago Diamita, aka Jiggy, and I'm a Halo coach for Darkest Hour. What relations do you have to players on the team? How do you know them? Uh, so, camp. Um, me and Camp were able to, to play a, a little bit on a team together and kind of scrim a little bit. And I was kind of able to see like who he is as a player and also as a person, very chill guy, humble guy. But uh, also what he does on the map is very good. Uh, Jay Grav, um, I met Jay Grav through the sauna. And I remember just seeing like a bunch of uh, posts about him also getting hype. Obviously the biggest, uh, like, like one of the biggest videos on Twitter for Halo is the uh, shut up I got camo. So. Shut up, I got camo. You know, now being able to, to be here on the same, like, kind of playing field, you know, being his coach is uh, very humbling. Um, Halusik, I didn't really know too much about Halusik, like, leading into this, besides, like, just playing against him in tournaments and, and kind of just seeing him always, like, at the top, you know. And, um, and M305 also, um, also in the sauna, just playing eights against him. You obviously know he's a very cracked player, a very good individual. And, um, yeah, he's just a demon, so. What are you trying to bring to the table this weekend as a coach? Um, I think uh, I spent a lot of time like watching film and like grinding through teams and teams. So I think for like um, like strategic play, I think I bring a lot to the table. But um, at the same time, I know, I know these guys have a lot of Halo knowledge themselves. So kind of kind of like help them out with like the camos and, and little things, and kind of just let them do what they do, which is win games. All right, then give me some hype on the way out. Let's go, baby! Darkest hour. Uh, my name's Kai. Um, I'm from Ohio. A Halo player from Darkest Hour. Being that this team is a compromise of two duos, what strengths do you feel J Gravity and M305 bring to UMP Man? Uh, I think uh, starting off with J Grav. J Gravs bring a lot of passion to this team. Great amount of passion, um, tremendous amount of energy, and great a great sense of, of playmaking in his own sense of way. Um, in terms with M or JP, aka M305. A truck. He's a truck, man. It's great to play with another player that is able to do the slaying and is also able to do the damage, but also is very coachable. Um, is always willing to listen, wanting to get better. Um, and just as a duo, like I said, they're really respectable in terms of just wanting to get better and being coachable no matter what. And there's nothing better than having teammates that are grinders. That's a huge thing for me and Mac uh, from the past to now. We got new grinders and young ones that really want it and have the same vision that we have to get to the top. So. It's really exciting to be on this darkest hour and really to get this get this shit going, man. Really excited to be with this people. My name is Joe. My gamer tag is J Gravity. You can say J Grav. Um, I'm from New York. I've been in Jersey. I used to go to the NJ Halos. I used to see Twilight. So being on darkest hours, like you know, it's like a big opportunity. All right. So yeah, being a fan of competitive Halo for such a long time, what does joining or like darkest hour mean for you personally? 
Uh, to be honest, it means a lot because it's an OG Halo Pro team. A lot of OGs were on it, a lot of legends were on it, you know, watching them when I was a kid. And now I'm on the team, especially with my brothers, you know, so it means a lot. Um, just growing up and watching them is like a, it was a big inspiration, you know. So now me on the team, it just excites me to do more and push my limits. Applying major pressure on me. You hear me? Money on my mind, can't take it off that shit. They got five different iPhones, I'ma pick it up for that grill. Anytime they come around here, nigga, we ain't gonna let up on you, bless We just get ready. Yo, what's going on? I'm JP, aka M305. I'm from Miami. What strengths do you feel that Helisick and P-Mac bring to the team? Honestly, they complement each other really well. And on top of that, they also complement Joe and I. I uh, love the guys' energy, passion. These guys are grinders. I've seen them day and night inside. Uh, Pluto and Sauna, just grinding it out. Learning, VOD reviewing. These guys are animals. When did you know you wanted to play Halo at a higher level competitively? Uh, honestly, I'd say ever since I, I, I was nine, um, you know, my uncle, he introduced me to Halo 2, and that's how I got into Halo, that was my first shooter, and when Infinite was announced, that's when I knew I wanted to go take it serious and start competing. Michael Pratt, also known as P-Mac, also known as Mac Truck, I mean, I got, I got a couple of different names, so. You glad to be on Darkest Hour Gaming, man? Yes, sir, man. I mean, I'm I'm OG. I haven't been competing for very long, but I've been a fan of MLG since Halo 3. So, you know, Darkest Hour holds a lot of weight for somebody like me. What makes Hell 6 such a great teammate? Well, I mean, the thing about Kai is, is he's probably the most competitive person I know. It don't matter if it's, it's chess, Halo, shit talk. Like, he, he wants to win at everything. So he, he brings that to the map every time and it makes it to where he holds everybody accountable and, and anything for the dub. So we've been we've been gaming together since the beginning of Reach. So we've known each other for 10 years uh, and we were just like, let's let's do this. And we, we just kind of brought that no limit culture to Halo and, it, and it's moving like people people are rocking with it. How do you feel when you see J Gravity getting hyped? Yeah, so I mean, I'm a momentum player. So when J Grab, when J Grab get hyped, it just it just make me want to do more type. So like, I, I think we got a good type of synergy with that because we we both kind of feed off each other's energy, uh, and we're, we're dangerous on the map when uh, when we start getting loud. Oh man, when when Joe gets hyped, that, like you already know that once we start snowballing and Joe gets hyped, that's it. That's that's the acceleration right there. We're going from zero to a thousand real quick. Of those rockets, hella sick with the sniper on the corner, finds the back of one, looking for two. He knows where the player is at the top of Sniper Tower, but it's Danger. Danger has countered the sniper plays once already, but oh man, one, two, three, easy picking for hella sick.